Join us as we embark on a journey to find out about Peranakan culture and if it will be lost in the years to come. Peranakan means child of or born of. Peranakans are the descendants of traders who married Southeast Asians and settled down in the region. As with other cultures in today's society, the number of Peranakans who still practice the customs is dwindling. Some of the customs that are disappearing include elaborate weddings that could last up to 12 days, siwe leaf throwing, and the use of the unique language of the Peranakans, the Potoa. The disappearance of this culture can be partly attributed to the introduction of Christianity to many modern-day Peranakans. Let's take a look at how the kabaya is worn. First, the sarong is worn and wrapped around the waist. The tali kingdek or belt is fastened to hold the sarong in place. Finally, the kabaya top is worn and the lapels have to be aligned. Let's listen to what Grandma Juliana has to say about Peranakan food. We explored one of the aspects which embodies Peranakan culture, food. I learned from my mother, make sambal lah, sambal udang lah, asam pedas, gerang asam, curry, I grind the glutinous, then I put in the sack, dry it, then the next day I'll open up, then she put coconut milk to make the stew. We then had a hearty meal at Glory, a Peranakan eatery. After our meal, we had a short interview with one of our, the owners of Glory, Auntie Sharon. Mm. The Katong area is where most other Peranakan places can be found. Ayam Bua Keluak is the hardest. The preparation process is tedious and very time consuming. After soaking the Bua Keluak for 24 hours, we make a small hole in the shell and remove the contents. We mix the contents with other ingredients and then put it back into the shell. Most of our regular customers are Peranakans, but there are also other Singaporeans and foreigners who are interested in Peranakan dishes. The young Peranakan now can't be bothered. They got money, they pay just outside by. Now youngsters, even Peranakan, I can say, they don't bother to learn because they pay money, they go inside, they go outside, they sit down, eat easy work. They want to eat, they pay money, to go out, I pay, I eat, I no need to do the work. So nobody wants to take over. Unless you got somebody that keen have to do all this, you have to pick up. Nobody wants to pick up. Especially now, modern days, you see all youngsters, how expensive they can go and eat. They can eat how nice for that country. From the interview, we can see that there are different viewpoints on future generations of Peranakans due to the tedious and elaborate steps to cooking Peranakan dishes. You have heard the opposing views on the future of the Peranakan culture in Singapore. What do you think? Find out more by exploring our webpage.